Hello students, this is Praveen Kumar Ponia, your teacher for pure mathematics. In this pure mathematics, like basic, it is divided into four sections. Today we are starting section number one. And in this chapter number one, the name of the chapter is functions and graphs. So before we learn what is a function, we need to understand what is a set. First, we need to understand what is a set that we learn in basic mathematics, but we need to learn here all again. A set is a well defined collection of different elements. Different elements or you can say sometimes we call them objects. Clear? So here we have two things. Number one, it should be well defined and number two, all the elements, all the objects should be different. Clear. Sets are denoted by capital letters A, B, C, D, while the objects or elements are denoted by small case letters A, B, C, D. Clear. So if I want to write a set, set is well defined clearly. It's like set of natural numbers. set of natural numbers up to 10. Up to 10 means what? What will be set? Set are denoted by these bracket, curly braces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it was stated clearly that it is a set of natural numbers. So only natural numbers will come, number one, and number two, it will become up to 10. Clear? The uh, Another thing I want to tell you, it is not necessary you need to write them in order. You can write 1, 10, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, uh, 9, 8, 7. Order is not the problem in sets. Clear, you can write in any order. But all the objects, all the entries, whatever we are writing here, it must be different. You need to focus on this word, different. Clear, like we will take another set, set of vowels. Set of vowels, set of vowels in English alphabet. What it is? A, E, I, O, U. These are? Vowels, clear. So here, if this is the uh, set we are writing, so if I write one more example, if I take like C is equal to, say, uh, set of even numbers up to 10, clear. So it is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are sets. Clear? Now, if I write D is equal to here, what it is? It is, say, for example, I am writing set of delicious. If I am writing set of fruits, it is okay. Set of fruits means you can write any fruit, apple, pomegranate, clear, banana, guava, lychee, you can write any fruit name, clear. But when we are talking about delicious fruit, delicious fruit we cannot define, clear. Somebody like banana, somebody like apple, someone like uh, say strawberry, clear. Every person have their own definition of delicious. So when we are talking about these type of vague things so we will clearly say it is not a set clear if i write e equals to some say set i am writing one two three four five 
two six. Is this a set? No, this is not a set. Why? This is not a set because two and two both are same here. So this cannot be written as a set because I told you in starting that a set is a well-defined different objects. Well-defined and different objects. We cannot have the same objects inside. Clear. One more thing I will tell you here because uh, this these two notations we are using uh, very frequently. One is this, one is this. Clear. The meaning of this is belong to. Please remember this. And the meaning of this is does not belong to. Clear. Belong to means is a part of. Belong to means is a part of. Like if I want to write for this one, clear. So to belongs to C. 4 belongs to C. 6 belongs to C. 10 belongs to C. 12 does not belongs to C because 12 is not here. So 12 does not belong to C. You need to remember this. Clear. So this is about the sets I explained. Now we will study, we start studying about the function. So the first point comes here is what is a function? What is a function? What is a function? So function I want to tell you is a rule. Clear? Function we define between two sets. Clear? It is a rule. What rule? There are two things in this. In this rule, there are two things. Every element of set, sorry, every element of set A must be connected. What is the first property? Every element of set A must be connected. And what is the second rule? It must be connected. It must be connected with one element only. Clear? So, if I am taking a set A here, sets are denoted like this one in case of function. This is set A and we are taking, sorry, we are taking this is set B. Clear? Here I am taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Clear? Here I am taking A, B, C, D and E. Clear? And there is a function we are defining in between A and B. So what is saying? Every element of A, this is A. This set is named as domain. Please listen carefully. This set is named as domain and this set B is not named as codomain. Clear? This set B is named as image set. This set is named as image set because here every element of A will be joined with every element of means not every but will join with elements of B. So here this these elements of set A will have image in set B like if one is connected with C. So what is the image of one? The image of connected image of one is C. We will learn this uh, in the next slide. No problem. So one is connected with C. Two is connected with A. So look here. What? One is connected, two is connected, three is connected with B, four is connected with D, five is connected with E. Clear? So if you see here, every element, how many elements in set A? There are five elements. 
there are five elements in set a and all the five elements are connected one is connected two is connected three connected four connected five connected every element is connected and how many elements they are connected one is connected with c one element two is connected with a one element three is connected with b one element four is connected with d one element five is connected with e again one element so this is a function why because this satisfying both the properties of function both the condition what was the condition it i explained you it is a rule and what rule that every set of oh no every this is not set every element every element of set a must be connected and property number 2 is it must be connected with one element only these are the two conditions clear we will take more examples to clear this concept this is example number 2 i am taking let us take the set a and here we are taking the set b clear and 1 2 3 4 5 and here is a b c d clear so one is connected with a simple we are taking two is connected with b three is connected with c four is connected with d is this a function no this is not a function why this is not a function this is not a function because because i will tell you uh, because i will tell you this 5 this 5 is empty empty means it is not connected it is not connected since it is not connected so this is not a function so there are two conditions again i am telling you there are two conditions what are the conditions that you need to fix every element of set a with these elements of set b but with only one element clear so we will take more examples here to understand this this is example number 3 and let us take the set a and the set b clear so this is 1 2 3 4 5 5 1 1 sorry a b c d e look one is connected with a two is connected with a three is connected with b four is connected with d and five is connected with e now the question comes whether it is a function or not a function clear so let us check i told you two things one thing is connected with set a every element of set a one is connected two is connected three is connected four is connected five is connected so first condition is satisfied what is the second condition that it must be connected with one element only let us see what is the image of one the image of one is a image of one is a so it is written f1 equals to a because i told you this is what is b b is image set image set under f image set under f clear what is the image of two image of two is a one element one element image of three is b image of 4 is d image of 5 is e so is this a set yes this is a set why because every element of set a every element of the domain set every element of domain is connected with b and it is connected with 1 1 1 1 and 1 here elements may be empty it may be empty it may not be empty clear it is 
it is means uh, does not uh, change whether it is function or not a function clear so if in set b some elements are empty no problem but in set a no element should be empty every element should be connected clear so what is the answer this is a function this is a function let us take one more example to clear more clearly example number 4 we will take this is set a this is set b and here is 1 2 3 4 5 it is a b c d and e now one is connected with a one is connected with b one is connected with two elements two is connected with c three is connected with c four is connected with c and five is connected with e now question comes whether it is a function or not function so there are two things first we will check with the domain set and this is co domain set so in domain look 1 2 3 4 5 all are connected clear now let us check what the image of one image of one is a comma b image of two is c image of three is c image of four is c image of five is e clear so if you see one image one image one image one image but if you will see here there are two image this is wrong i told you it must be connected with one element only but here my dear friends it is connected with two elements so what is the answer this is not a function this is not a function clear now one more thing i want to tell you here but this is not a function okay so let us solve another question then we will clear the concept of domain and range example number example number 5 clear it is let f is connected f 1 2 3 4 5 is connected with a b c d e clear how it is connected how the function is defined it is written like that it is written like that that f is a function from this set this is domain set and this is co domain set clear how it is connected f1 equals to b this type of question we are giving in exam f4 is equal to a f3 equals to c f4 f2 equals to a and f5 equals to e clear what it is question number 1 is this a function question number 2 domain what is the domain question number 3 what is the co domain and another term i will explain you now that is range clear so first we will make the set a this is set a we will make here and the set a how many elements five 1 2 3 4 and 5 clear what is the set b this is set b we will define and this is a b c d and e and they are connected through f so look f1 is equal to b so the image of 
means one is connected with B. Four is connected with A. Three is connected with C. Two is connected with A. And five is connected with E. Clear? So if you see all elements of A are connected, this is the first property satisfied. And these are connected with one element only. Look, one is connected with B, one. Four is connected with A, one element. Three is connected with C, one element. Two is connected with A, one element. And five is connected with E, one element. These elements, they should be one. Repeated, non-repeated, it is not the problem. Problem is, it should be one. Clear? Now, so because it is satisfying both the properties, so this is a function. This is a function. Now, what is the domain? I told you this is the set A is domain. The set B is called codomain. Clear? And what is the range? Now, listen. Range is the image set. A, B, C, and E. This is the range. A, B, C, and E. This is the range. Why D is not included in the range? Because the element D is empty. Understand? So what is the domain? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the codomain? A, B, C, D, E. And what is the range? In a range, just remember D will not include. Clear? That's why range is not in equal to codomain. Clear? If range is equal to codomain, then the function will be on to. That we will study in fourth lecture. What is on to function? Clear? So range now, till now, range in this case is not equal to codomain. Clear? So, this is the range. Okay. Now, we will study another definition of function. Another definition of function. in terms of ordered pair another definition of function in terms of ordered pair clear so what is the definition definition is a function is a set of ordered pair ordered pair with the property with the property that no Two different pairs no two different pairs have same first component clear so First of all, we need to learn what is a ordered pair. So I want to tell you like this one here, like if you see this F1 is equal to B. So what we can write is this can be written as 1 comma B. Means 1 is the element, 1 is the part of domain and B is the part of range. Clear? 
so whenever we are writing the um, pairs in the form of uh, domain and range then it is called a ordered pair like for example f is equal to say 1a what is the meaning of 1a means 1 is if this is a and this is b clear i am writing 1a so 1 is connected with a this is clear so f we are writing in terms of this is named as ordered pair here 1 is from domain a is from range clear like 2 belongs to c 4 belongs to e means 4 is related with e and 3 related with d 5 related with a clear so what he is saying he is he is saying that it is a function if no two different pairs means if you choose two different pairs they should not have same first component look 1 2 4 3 5 5 because all first component are different so this is a function this can be written as in the previous form like this one 1 2 3 4 5 and this is a b c d e if we write all these things then 2 is related with c 3 is related with d clear 4 is related with e and 5 is related with a because b is not defined here so we will not consider b clear so from this what is the domain if you set, uh, write the set of ordered pairs so what is the domain domain is the first component 1 2 2 what is the domain 1 2 4 3 5 this is the domain and what is the range range is the second component clear what it is a c e d and a is this right no this is not right because two elements are same so we will not take a second time every set must have different objects different elements clear so here we were getting same a so we remove it because we need to take a once only so this is the another uh, definition of the function we will solve one more question on the basis of this one let example number 2 let f equals to 13 to 4 34 4 2 clear is this a function let us check 1 2 3 4 yes this is a function example number 3 f equals to 14 is this a function let us check 1 2 3 2 oh my god this 2 is same and also one is same here by chance 2 otherwise if one is same then it is not a function is this a function no this is not a function clear so all first component must be different clear i will take one more example f is equal to this is 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 is this a function clear look all second component are same clear 
but we are not concerned with second component we are concerned with first component only first component must be different clear so because first components are different so this is a function clear so this is how we are writing now i will tell you uh, little bit something about uh, uh, the domain values and all these things so please listen carefully if this is set a and this is set b clear here one element we have considered x here one element we have considered y and they are connected through f then they are connected through f clear then we call it function means image of x under f is equal to y clear this is domain clear and this variable x is called independent variable independent variable the variables defined in domain are named as independent variable while the variable defined in image set are called dependent variable please learn these this is independent variable this is dependent variable and this is co domain the set b is co domain set clear so here you need to remember that this set is named as domain set this named as co domain set they are connected through a function f the values defined in domain set are no named as independent variables while the variable defined in co domain set is named as dependent variable these are the things we have discussed in this lecture in the next lecture we will discuss about types of function till then thank you very much masalama goodbye